Well, good afternoon, everyone. As you know, my name is Chris Kimmons. And I'm Nick Kimmons. And coronavirus. Oh, my goodness. It's throwing the world into turmoil at the moment. Um, and we are having to respond quickly, readily, uh, just like everyone else is. People having to make changes. So the big news is this, that all our groups and activities will be changing, pretty much all of them. Uh, certainly not happening in person. Many of them will be happening online. Some of them are postponed. More details to follow, but that's the big news. So yeah, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. And one of the things is that we're going to be going online for loads of stuff. So we have brilliant access to technology, which means we can stay connected during this time. And Sundays we'll be going online, which means that we'll be streaming a service at 9.30 a.m. every Sunday while it's possible, um, which will include worship and stories and a talk. So you can tune in on Facebook Live to watch the service online. We also want to open the warehouse every day between 9 and 12.30, Monday to Friday that is, just to create a space where people can come uh, and pray, find some peace and quiet, uh, maybe just grab themselves a coffee and sit quietly. We don't think many people will want to come along to that, but it's available and it's a space for people to be able to come. And the Beehive will be remaining open at the moment, but do keep checking their social media posts because there might be things like reduced hours and that sort of thing. So just keep uh, online with the Beehive to find out what's going on with them. Food bank and storehouse? Food bank and storehouse will remain open so that people can get food and clothing for those that really need it at the moment. But we are going to put some extra measures in to keep the people healthy when they come to the warehouse. Yeah, we've heard of, from a few schools this afternoon already asking us what can we be doing to help uh, some of the families in need at this time, especially the ones that are self-isolating. So we really are very much on that. Something else we want to be able to do is um, where we have an online service on a Sunday morning, we then want to do like a scattered thing where some, some people may just wish to get together to do a walk. In So we're probably going to have some different walks. Of course, it wouldn't be many people. It's outdoors. We can keep a, a safe distance from each other, all those kind of things, but it's still a chance just to get outside, get some exercise and some fresh air. More details to follow. And then something we're really excited about is a day of prayer that we're going to be having this Absolutely. Saturday from 11am until Sunday at 11am. Now we're going to send you details of how to get involved, but we believe that prayer changes things. And right now is a time for us to be praying. So we are hopeful that we will Absolutely. see our prayers answered. And if you want to get involved, then just follow us on social media, our website, and we'll give you details of how to get involved in that. Uh, we are making lots of postcards available as well. Becky Wass from Falmouth who came up with that brilliant idea, the viral kindness. We're having a number of those printed off and they will be at the warehouse for anyone who wants to come past, pick them up just to be able to love their neighbours well. And really, we just wanted to take the chance to say that whilst we know the announcement from the government yesterday will left some of you feeling... Um, unsettled or uncertain that we are not feeling anxious we are feeling hopeful um, sure. that we know that we love to do community and whilst we're going to be doing it differently we are still just as passionate about bringing life to Ashford and there's no way we're going to take our foot off that pedal as we go into this season so we just wanted to read this little bit from <clears throat> Psalm 91 Psalms are just like a, they're like poetry really to, to God and this was written by David the one who uh, flung the stone and uh, knocked Goliath over that one um, and it says this, um, speaking of God, um, his massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield keeping you from harm. So we just want to say a quick prayer. If you want to join in, that's great. You can say amen at the end or something. But, but Father God, we thank you that you are still so good and your love for us is incredible. And we thank you that you love the UK, you love the people in the UK and beyond. And we pray for healing for people who are suffering, not just with coronavirus, but with other ailments and issues too. And we thank you um, for your blessing on us uh, and that we, at this time, we look out for each other and we can love well. Amen. Amen. So don't get isolated, stay connected with us either through social media or just get in touch by info at ashwoodvineyard.org and we'll do everything we can to show love and support to our community this season.